let's look at the DAISY AI crowdfund. But before we get there, I want to talk about what this is. We, in a, in a sense, being an actual crowdfund, it's a bit like a venture capital company. You know, in a sense, what we're doing, we're going to show you today is effectively raising funds for, for a project where you can benefit. I want to give you a few examples of very successful venture capital raises. One of them was WhatsApp. And you can see here that our Sequoia Capital, one of the most successful, probably as a track record, one of the most successful venture capital companies in the world based out of Silicon Valley in the US. They put in $60 million investment into WhatsApp back in 2014. And Facebook, sorry, before 2014, and Facebook bought out WhatsApp. And that 60 million turned into 3 billion. Do your maths on that. That's staggering when you think about the rate of return. Venture capital companies are basically investing in future potential. And that's what we're talking about today. We're getting you to look at how you could put your energy and time and maybe some money into something that has potential for great upside. And that's just one example, a, a staggering result, $22 billion acquisition of WhatsApp. Alibaba, a bit like the Amazon of China and a company in Japan called our SoftBank invested $20 million to help get them started. And then Alibaba went on to basically debut at $231 billion. And SoftBank's $20 million turned into $60 billion. Keep in mind though, venture capital companies know that basically four out of five of the projects they put their funds in probably won't yield a return. Hear what I just said? Four out of five of them won't yield a return. They're, they're betting on the big ones that are coming, coming out. And there's some amazing success stories here. Google, we all know about Google. Well, this investor turned their 12.5 million into 4.3 billion. And they went through the challenging time when Google was founded, when the venture capital company came in, when the stock market plummeted, and then it came back and Google then did the IPO. But playing the long game, ended up very proper. Would, would you put in 12.5 million to get 4.3 billion every day of the week? Spotify, if you listen to music on your phone, you may use Spotify. Well, a little, a, a Swedish venture capital company put money in there when everyone else said he was crazy and he turned his four and a half million into $370 million. This is just a few examples of people who had the courage and the foresight to see something before it became something big, but yielded the returns with massive upside. So how does crowdfunding differ from venture capital? Well, they're both ways to raise funds to help a project reach its full potential, to help them hire the right expertise, the funding of their officers and the actual development of their product to do the market research and all those sort of things. So we're not here today to sell you anything. We're here today to show you an opportunity where you could be like one of those venture capital companies, but come together as a community rather than maybe a handful of individuals. Venture capital companies wanted to get behind this project. They really saw the potential of it, but they were declined. Because crowdfunding, what it does is it decentralizes the funding process rather than just having four or five wealthy individuals get a bucket load more wealthy. This allows ordinary people to participate for as little as a hundred dollar contribution. Now, if you went to a VC company and said, I want to be my partner for a hundred US dollars, they would laugh you out the door. But this is the great thing that we've got opportunity here where thousands, if not tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people can come together and the collective proceeds of those people working together in a decentralized way can bring a project to market that has huge potential and where every member who contributes 
gets to benefit. So what is being funded? Well, it's the next generation of AI technology for the financial industry. And the financial industry is huge. In fact, um, the financial industry in, in dealing with wealth creation has become bigger than, than the actual public companies that they invest in. So we're creating AI trading technology for trading cryptocurrency, foreign currency, commodities, precious metals, and other asset classes over time. And as this AI is not just repeating what things have done in the past, but it's looking at all the factors that impact markets because in the world today, we have social media influencers like Elon Musk, who now owns Twitter, but before that he was sending out tweets and that would have a major impact on the market. We have pandemics, natural disasters, we have elections and all these things impact the markets. It's just not the historical data and uh, trends and analysis. There are factors out there that massively can impact markets that weren't there before. So this AI is looking at it and it's correct. We're trying to create results from not seen before. I mean, it's no point trying to recreate what's already been done before. That's pretty boring. And venture capital companies, you know, they're funding the Ubers of the world that change the taxi industry. They're, they're funding Airbnb that change the accommodation industry. They're funding, you know, companies out there that are basically changing the world like Netflix. When Blockbuster laughed them out the door when they went to, to ask them to buy them out, and who got the last laugh? Well, Netflix is now a multi-billion dollar company and nobody knows who Blockbuster is anymore. So we're looking to fund $10 million for the development of the AI and $500 million for a trading pool for testing and development of the AI. This is not a trading opportunity. This is a VC opportunity. This is a crowdfunding opportunity. This is a opportunity for you to be an actual participant, just like one of those big venture capital companies and be in front of something that is going to change the world. And who's creating the AI? It's Dr. Anna Becker and her team at Endotech. And I'll tell a little bit of story at the end of my presentation is to stay for that about how uh, we came about, came across her before we even knew about Daisy. And basically, Dr. Anna Becker and her team at Endotech, she's got a, a strong track record of developing AI for more than 150 investment firms across US, Europe, and Asia. They're not learning on the job. They have very substantial uh, experience in the development of AI technology. In fact, she actually developed a previous technology company and sold that off. And that company is still existing to today and providing solutions to big investment firms all around the world. She's got over 25 years experience and is regarded as one of the leading AI scientists in the world. And her publications and her systems are actually being distributed and integrated into many of the top leading financial circles across Europe and America. She is someone who's well known. And it's interesting when you start to talk to people who are in the banking sector, in the top level of the trading industry, they all know of Dr. Anna Becker. So what's happened so far? How's this project really going? Well, over 170,000 contributors since January, 2021. Over 4.1 million raised towards the $10 million goal for the AI development. 155 million in the trading pool already. And over 125 million has been distributed back to the contributors of the community. How amazing is that? The people who are helping to crowdfund this project are sharing already in $125 million and $65 million in trading rewards already distributed back to the community. So that's well over $190 million has come back to the community already. And we haven't even brought the technology to the broader marketplace yet. It's not fully completed. It's not fully developed. It's still being tested and developed. So how's the trading going? Well, Daisy Forex AI has been the standout performer so far. You know, in, I'm in a classroom. There's always a couple of students who sort of stand out heads and shoulders above the rest. And that's what we've got here. As we're developing these different AIs, Forex came jumping out of the gate and it launched in April this year. 
And it's averaging about four to 5% raw profit on average. That's staggering, four to 5% per week. I walked into my bank here in Thailand and they said, Mr. Faust, you've been a valued client now for six years. We'd like to offer you a special uh, fixed term investment. I said, that's great. How much are you offering me? And I said, oh, 0.15% per annum. I said, interesting. I make that probably every couple of hours in my current opportunity. Thank you for the offer, but no thanks. Four to five percent a week is staggering. My business partners worked in the offshore sector running licensed funds. And he would tell me regularly that, you know, they were trading millions and millions of dollars. And if they could get 2% net a month, their clients were really happy. Serious investors, top end of town investors, if they get two to four percent a month, they're happy. Four to five percent a week is staggering. When you compound, in other words, when you don't withdraw your profits, but you let your profits get added to your initial amount and that gets higher and higher every week. So the profit you're making is on a larger balance. We've achieved 323% as of today in just seven months, a bit, le bit less than seven months. We're on track for 500% at the moment over a 12 month period. That is exceptional, 500%. I mean, if, and to be honest, if you took that to most professional investment houses, they would think that you're crazy, but real results, as we saw, 65 million in trading rewards already extracted by the community already. So this is the real deal, folks. So let's crunch some numbers. I just want to show you a couple of numbers in a calculator here. Um, some of you may have seen this. Some of you may not. But this calculator basically is designed to show you some scenarios of what could happen. So on your screen here, you should be able to see my calculator. And basically, let's say that you just put a $100 contribution into this. That's all you did, nothing more. Maybe you're in Latin America, in Africa, um, in, in India, in Thailand, and that's all you come up with. Or maybe you're in another country that you're just doing it tough and that's all you can come up with. Well, at the moment, we're averaging about 20% per month. So, so if you were just to take that out each month, you're going to end up with a net of around $7 a month. Now, that's not going to be that exciting. It's not going to change your outcome. $7 a month, you know, maybe help put some food on the table in some countries. But what if you left it? What if you didn't touch it? What if you just left that in there? And we start today on the 26th of November. Let's see what happens. By not touching that, at the end of six months, your $100 has grown to $550 after the performance fees have been deducted because every six months they charge a performance fee to generate the profit. Don't worry about that. You can talk to the person who referred you. They can explain that in more detail. But look what happens at the end of year three. It's grown to $44,000. That $100 compounding every little bit of profit. And at the end of, sorry, I just want to realize that uh, this chart's been played with. So let me just remove some of these numbers. Just give me a sec. Okay, let's go back to these numbers again. Thought that was wrong. Okay, so at the end of year three, sorry, we've got $6,000 in there. That's an incredible result from $100. Didn't do anything in the more, didn't put any more money in, you didn't trade, you didn't look at charts, didn't do anything. At the end of five years, you've got 197000 Compounding is the most powerful principle that wealthy people leverage to become super successful. And a little bit of extra funding can make a big difference. So let's say every four weeks, you just added one more tier one where 50% of that goes into the trade, trading pool. So maybe you just did that for a couple of months for 90 days. Look at your results. You've gone from 197,000 to 654,000. And what did you do? You put in 300 more of, contribu of in, in crowdfunding contributions, 150 that go into the trading pool. That's what can happen, folks. But the earlier you start and the more you start with, the bigger the difference. So let's say you're a little bit 
more adventurous and you went all the way to tier five. A total of 3,100 with 2,110 going into the trading pool. Look what happens at the end of five years. Enough for anybody to seriously end up with a, paying for any goal that they wanted to, to achieve. So I'm just going to mute somebody. So it's the power of combat. Maybe you don't want to wait. Maybe you just want to get to year three. Year three, even at year 2.5. So halfway through year three, you're at 119,000. Now, what do they say? You're averaging 20% a month. Take out your performance fee. Let's be ultra conservative. Let's say the numbers drop a little bit and your net is 10% a month. 119, let's round it off to 100K. 100K at 10% a month is 10,000 US dollars. Give me a yes in the chat if 10,000 US dollars a month, which is about 15,000 Australian, it's a whole lot of Ash and Namibian dollars, would change your life dramatically. Would you still be at the same job? Would you still be going, putting your kids to the same school? Would you be driving the same car? Would you be going on vacation to the same place if you're earning 10,000? What if you waited to the end of year three before you decided to start drawing money out? 267, let's round up to 200K at 10%. That's 20,000 a month. 20,000 a month. Would you be now changing your lifestyle dramatically? Let's say you went a little bit more adventurous. You waited, you were patient after four years and you got to a mill. Okay, let's round up to a million dollars at 10% a month. That's 100K a month. 100K a month. It's hard to spend it. Once you have got your house and your car, yeah, you can spend it. There's lots of stupid ways to spend money. But I did a, a budget up for a very quality lifestyle after having my car and my house. And I can tell you, you know, flying business class on six vacations a year, having actually hired help like a personal yoga teacher, a fitness instructor, a, a personal chef, a gardener, all those things, you still can't spend more than 30, 40 K a month. So you would still have 50, 60, 70,000 left over. But you've got to start somewhere. Now, if you don't have the funds to, to contribute the tiers, there's the only other way you can do that quickly is to build a referral community. So why get involved now? Well, we've got a real world project that's weathered the challenges of the market. We're in one of the most difficult financial markets at the moment, and it's only going to get worse. If you listen to the financial commentators in the marketplace out there, they're telling you we've got a recession coming. We've got rising borrowing rates going up. We've got inflation going up. It's just basically a situation where everything is going to end up getting worse. So, so basically, when you think about this, this project has weathered all that and producing exceptional results. It weathered COVID through lockdowns and all the things that affected everyone in that and still weathered those storms. That's a great sign that it can handle the challenges that come up. You've got engaged founders who are passionate about your success. Anybody who's been involved in this project knows the people behind this are always upfront and present and there to help the community. A track record of generating passive rewards from Forex AI. Everybody's receiving rewards now. Every single person in the community now is enjoying positive rewards every week. And there's new projects coming. See, once you build your community, it's a bit like once you build your customer base at Tesco or, or Woolworths in Australia or Coles or um, whatever your Asher department store is or your grocery store is, they know once they've got the customer base, they add more products in, they make more profits. Same here, as we start funding more projects, if people are getting a great result from the first project or the second project, they're, gonna, they're going to basically keep going and put funds towards new projects and new winners as well. Just last month in October, over 20 million was raised in the Forex AI contributions, just in one month. This is going really well. 